All right, you have found stocktrade.tips. Uh, I'm going to be uh, putting this up on the YouTube channel, which is uh, Southside Crypto. Uh, I'll probably cut that up a little bit. Uh, so while people are joining, let me just uh, kind of tell you what's going on as I turn down Bloomberg here. So uh, market is off its lows. It did it. It, uh, it gapped down today, it climbed up, the NASDAQ went positive, then it just has a huge sell-off, and, uh, and it, it's got one huge red candle on all on the Dow, the NASDAQ, and the S&P at the same time, and hits uh, intraday lows, and now we're off of those lows. So it's just, kind of, it's just been really wonky today. Uh, most of your large cap stocks are in red, though. Uh, it's not, they're not bleeding out today, at least. That's a good thing. Uh, we've got some good things in crypto going on right right now. As I look at the crypto bubbles, uh, a lot of so we had Bitcoin above forty one. That's a key key level, right? Again, we need need to see some follow through, uh, and I believe right now we are only at you know we're at forty one thirty three forty one thousand three hundred ninety one. We did go back under uh, forty. Sorry, back under 41, almost to 40, and now we're back up to 41. Uh, Bitcoin up 8% on the day. It's a big move for Bitcoin. Big, big move. Uh, we'd like to, I, I mean, everything looks green. You, you want to see this. Uh, we also have Ethereum above 2,800. That's a key level. The bigger key level is 2,900-ish. And then, of course, the psychological level is 3,000. Once we get, get to there, we need to hit 3,600. But uh, those are the key levels of uh, 29, 28, which we're at now, uh, 29 in Ethereum. Let's just let's let's work with that right now. And Bitcoin at that 41 this is really, really good to see. Hence what, why most of the market is up right now. Bitcoin is now 42.6 percent of the market. So it has increased its share today. So I'm going to go through a couple of. All right, so these are uh these are the cryptos that I did this morning. So now the resistance has turned into the support on most of these. So if we're looking at Bitcoin, the resistance was at 40K, is no longer there. The resistance is at 41K. Sorry, the, uh, the support is at 41K. So the resistance has turned into the support. Uh, Ethereum, 2800 is now the res resistance. Binance, 370 is now the support, right? Uh, Ethereum again, 2800 is now the support. Luna, the support is now 80, while uh, Avalanche, so support is now 76. Let me check on if where Avalanche is at right this second. 80, so yes, that still holds true. Matic, the support now is at 148 or 162, wherever uh, Polygon is. XRP. We, we, we want to see it. Uh, you, you've got resistance at 77. I think it's still below that, but uh, that's that's where we are. All right, let's go to work here. Uh, we got fly up. What's up, fly? <laughs> I haven't done the fly in a while. Fly is it fly W fly? Hang, hang on a second. F L Y. We got fly wire corporation. If that's the one one you want, uh, it's it's going down. Stressful stock, but uh, not not having the worst day. Uh, the wick bounced off. You're 2677. Know where your downside is. Your downside is 2290. So you're 2677. Uh, I'd like you to get above. I think if you get above that 30 3150, that's a good level for you right there. Really good because you're above the 30 day. Sorry, you're above the 20 day. You're above the the higher. Trend line, and then you're also above the 50 day there, so not bad on the fly. Block it is, uh, which would be SQ square. Let's go now. Square's had a heck of a day, had, it's got a big so the wick actually pierced through the 50 day, which is a huge, huge deal. Clearly, 200 day would be better, but it did pierce this back down to 125. You you know where you base out at 82, you're at 125. That, that's your downside. I like man. I, th I think you need to get above that 50. It's at 132, 133. I think you can nibble there, though, for sure. It's definitely definitely a hold. It's up 5% today. Uh, I'd like to but again, if 
But I'm being real with you. I want to see you above 193, 195-ish, right? And then you still have the 200 day to, hit, to uh, go through, and that's that's going to be about 215. So there you go. That's that's blog. What's up with Marsh? A little uh, in insurance action. It's one I haven't seen in a while. I'm sure I got a line in here. Yep. All right. So I've done this one before. Uh, nice little pierce through. I would tell you if it breaks back below 150, it's probably a jump out. It's definitely a jump out at 146. You're at 154 right now. I think that it's not the worst. You could. It's definitely a hold here. It probably. Uh, I mean, as long as you watch your downside, I think the. I mean. Yeah, I think you might get nibble here, or at least above 156, 157, and then clearly you get long. It's real clear at uh, 162.50. That is Marsh. MMC is the ticker, by the way. MMC, and I do see some insiders selling. Not a lot, but uh, enough that it, it, it is showing red on the screen. Uh, what up with the algo? All right, so Marsh, uh, MRO I want to do as well, and then we'll get into some crypto. MRO, you st you stay long. I had calls on this last last week. Printed did very very well. By the way, I had a great great call this morning. Uh, I saw a check checkpoint. So all of the security sector, it looks like it's getting a bid right now. I went into checkpoint at the money this morning, like pre market. It 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 filled. Um, sorry, uh, I I got the call uh, at the opening bell it filled literally two hours later 350 bucks just like that right i could have gotten more i could have gotten greedy but i didn't and that's the better way to go in in this choppy market that we've got you got to pair your uh trading size down you got to in, in, in mro you just you you stay long let me tell you where above stay i'd stay long above 1970 let's call it 20 ish right stay long i'll go what's up out Algo, I just did that one. Algo is, let me find it. So at Avalanche, so the resistance was 76. Now the 76 is your support. So if it goes underneath that, that's what you got to watch. The resistance is 76 right, right now. So uh, I think you can get, get long here. I do not have a price target for, do not have a price target for it, but uh, long, I am, I, I think you can get longer above 76. That's a key level for it. Uh, what's up, buddy? What's up, safety? Say safety, Joy. Uh, Hex. Ooh, a little Hex action. A little Richard Hart. I bet he'd be happy you're asking about this. Let's see what's going on with Hex today. Give me the, give me the yearly chart here going back to April. Um, I think you're good as long as you're above those June highs, which is a 17, well, let's call it, yeah, 17 cents. What are we at today? We're at 14. I like it above 17. I don't know if I'm like a lot of charts are like this though, right? Don't, don't give me a lot of crypto charts for sure, right? So where would I nibble right here? I, again, I like it above 17. If I'm getting long though, I want, uh, yeah, yeah, I think, the, I think the eight, 18, you can start to nibble and it's clear where you get real, real long at. You get real long at 24. There you go. That's hex. You know what? I'm, I, you know, I'm not a hater of Hex. The one, the, the one thing I don't like about it is that he controls 88 percent of it. So when that changes, maybe I'll buy some. So there you go. By the way, on Coin Market Cap, there's no post about about Hex. Really, really strange. So Palantir, what's up? A little Palantir action. A little Cat Kathy Wood uh, Star Stock is it is up today. Uh, you're at 1165. You base out at 986. Understand that's your downside risk. You're not too far from that. Bad. At, so I think that look, it's not. I this is not a hold that I would do. It's, it's doing this. I'm, I, I'd be stressed out above it. But it's clear where you get you can get long though because it literally rode that uh, through late January into mid February, 1430 ish, right? And if I'm being if I'm going to really trade this, you got to watch right there at that 15 mark. Yeah, 15-ish mark. You've got the 50-day too. So 1430, I think you can start to nibble. Get above that, let's call it 15. Take some bigger buys and clearly where you can get long going back with the market memory back to uh, uh, mid or uh, early June 1890. 
18, nine, or let's just call it 19. So there you go. That's Palantir. Palantir Technology. I actually I don't like the chart. Love the company. Love what they do. Um, I, I know that uh, a lot of their technology right now is being used or is going to be used probably in the defense of Ukraine. So Tesla. Tesla having a hell of a day. It was up six. By the way, my uh, my calls to, uh, from the weekend stocks to watch, two were pushed. You could have made something, but you probably didn't. One, you could have made 2 to 3%. So um, pretty good on me. All right, base out is at 700. You know that. You're at 858, 858 right now. Went right to that 20-day and bounced right back. That's, that's where the wick went. You're at 858 right now. Um, as long as you're above, now again, you weren't there today, but as, as long as you're above, I mean, eight, as, as long as you're above 800, I think there's a nibble there. I'd really like you to be above 900 for sure and get real long at that 950. There you go. Of course, 1100 is a big level too. After that, that is Tesla. Uh, a little AMC, a little ape action. Let's do it. AMC it is. AMC Entertainment is uh, again. All right, so we so so we moved the chart. Okay, good deal. Um, I see, I, I was later what my my guy did. So thirty is still the level that that I would jump in. Right, that's just me. I, you're eighteen thirty three. You base out your downside risk right now is at thirteen fifty. So un, so as long as you understand that, I don't like this will put you at like twenty one. Is not out of the question because that now puts you above the, the 20 and the 50. Right now, uh, the 20 days acting as your support. So there you go. Anything above 20, 21, I like it. I like it more above 30, but you probably already knew that. Uh, is it a good time to buy some crypto? I So here's what I would say. Again, not financial advice. None of this is. What I would do is, and, and what I am doing, I did buy a little bit of the dip. I was thinking really, really small, small bites. Um, but but I was buying relative strength, you know, like Phantom, uh, Cosmos. I was buying uh, Mana. But anyway, point is, at 41k with Bitcoin above that, I needed some. We need to see some follow through, like a couple, like a day or two at least above that. And then yeah, I'm I'm buying some more for sure. So so I'm buying crypto. So I think that right now with it being up again, we need to see follow through, and uh, and the. Follow through is, a, is a, a day or two more. Crypto moves at five times the speed that the actual market does. So, um, so it's not the worst time. Let's just let's just say that um, you're we're just teetering on that key level of support at forty one, and so we want to make sure that we've actually gone through it and we are on the way up. Right again, it's buy high, sell higher. It's not really buy the dip. You can buy the dip as long as there's support down here, right? So I did. There's 29 down here, but but I wasn't buying big chunks because we could easily go back there very very quickly. Um, it, it it is nice to see though that stocks and crypto is is becoming uncorrelated. I think we were down to like a six seven today, a point six seven. So um, is 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 what I saw. So there you go, Lukey. What is Lukey? Lukey Lukey Lukey. I will Lukey here. Uh, I guess not, that's a crypto. I'm just guessing it is not. So I was wrong there. L U K E Y. L U K O Y. Sorry. Man, am I not? I'm not seeing it, bro. Come on now. Maybe I just. L U K O Y. I do not see it unless. Here, let me go to Trading View one time. Slow me down here, man. Uh, if this is a penny stock, L U K, L U K O Y. All right, it's an O. It's O O T C. Dude, it's gone. Just completely went freaking down. Let me go to the da daily. Um, it's not a stock that I trade. It is literally basing out. Uh, it, it's based out. I mean, it it could go to 19, 1896 is where it went today. You're back up to twenty four pretty quickly. Why is that? If that's a why is that a penny stock? If it's if it's um, I wonder what that trades. But anyway, uh, besides looking at that, where I get long is good lord. 
Um, this thing's all over the place. You're not going to like that. Um, so you might get start to nibble at 51. But, bro, I, I, mean, I, I mean, the key level here is clear. It's right, it's right there. It's like 75-ish. 75 on Lukoi. 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 So there you go. Appreciate it. Uh, oh, it's a swing trade. DraftKings, yes. DKNG. We, we got here today. We got, we're up 5% today. Had four, six green days in a row now. It's very, very nice. That is the base out, though. It's 1681. That is your downside risk. You're at 2320. What is stopping you right now is you are sitting right on the 50 day resistance. And that is at 2343. And you're at 2320. You need to go above that. And maybe I start to nibble because it's been an issue for this stock um, for a while. I think you can nibble above 24. But man, I, I mean, Again, I, I couldn't get long until you're at least about 42. I know it sucks, man. Like, it should be doing better. Again, don't let these trades turn into investments. This market could absolutely rock. We're getting into March tomorrow. In two weeks, we've got um, we've got a, uh, what do we have? We have a CPI print on the 13th, and the 16th, we, we get the FOMO C. So, they could absolutely raise rates. If, if the rate is, is higher than 25 bips, then market's going to do this again. So that's that's what we're uh, looking at. And, and do not think that uh, that crypto will be sh shielded. It, it will not. So uh, thank you for telling me I'm adorable. Never heard that before. Because <laughs> All right, what else? Uh is, is there a buy right now? I don't know. It, like I'm not going to tell you to buy any of these stocks. But a, a stock that that's, that just did did this, I don't know. I mean that that to me would stress it out, right? I told I told you where I get long again. It's buy high, sell high. I I need to see relative strength, right? And relative strength is getting back up to where it was before it just. I mean, it literally crashed. So that's how I see local. Uh, Loki, look, what stock is going to uh, pop on earnings afternoon? Uh, I don't look at that. I, I just look at charts. Um, I've got, uh, what, what do I got? Do I even have er, er, earnings today? Monday, we've got uh, Lucid could. I, I bet Lucid, what, what is Lucid doing right right now? Lucid might, might could. I believe, because people were asking about me. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's up seven right now. So maybe somebody knows something. I'm, I'm not saying I don't know a thing about it, right? I'm just looking at, at, at the chart. It's up seven. It was up eight. So, and you're at a key level there too. I mean, the key level right there is clear. 28.37, I'd tell you, let's just make it 29.30-ish. That's a key level for there. So if it goes past past that with some follow-through, I think you can, you, you can start to take some bigger bites of uh, Lucid. So there you go. Uh, but I don't know about their earnings. I, 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 that's way too much reading for me. I, I just don't have the time. Tesla puts, man. Man, are you really going to... I mean, up to date. So, it's had... Man, I think it's cleared a hurdle here. Again, you want to see some fall through, but it's up seven. So, you think... So, it's it's going to run into some traffic here. Like, it's... And so, right at that 900 level is a lot of traffic. Could you put a put on here? I don't know if I'd do it here, man. I really don't. It um, it is at the twenty day, so it might bounce back tomorrow, like bounce bounce down and and reject that twenty day, which which it did today. Um, so uh, what's actually pushing Tesla today? I did say this: uh, the Giga factory in Berlin was approved, or something was going on with it. So I I, I saw that there's some good 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 news for it. for a swing. Your guess is as good as mine. I would tell you that if it gets above that nine, that that nine thirty ish, I don't know. I I I'd be very hesitant to put anything on right now. A call or a put, right? Very. It's just in, in a lot of traffic, a lot of supply both ways. So, uh, Russian oil, oil stocks. Well, B, BP selling theirs. Um, XLE. Is killing it right now, which is the uh, I believe that's the energy ETF. It might be a crude e ETF. XLE, XLE is that in energy? Yeah, boy, it is freaking. Oh, it's right there, all time high. 
I, I hadn't even looked at, but I, I, I just assumed. Uh, so, so understand what the SWIFT system is, right? So the SWIFT system is just the messaging system. Money's not moved through SWIFT. So um, it just means that they cannot message them, which means they can't get, get deals done. They can't move. That's how they can't move money around, right? Is that they can't mess them. Hey, I'm sending you this, blah, 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 right? Um, so that's what the SWIFT system is. It's a messaging system. There are other sanctions that are better, right? I will say this. Let me just get this out of the way about Putin. Everybody's a geopolitical expert, right? I am not. So if they tell you that they are on Twitter, I was in, you know, whatever. I did this, I did that, I, I worked for the UN. Let me just, this is what I know. This, this is the fact. Is that Putin did one thing, and he united the West. He's literally united the West, and now he's got more weapons basically right off his borders because you got Germany now. It's going to spend 2x the defense budget that they normally do, right? Now they're sending in stingers. I, th I think that's the U.S. And they're sending in missile defense systems, right? So he's, and now China has come out. China actually said this. They are not, are not allies. They are a trading partner. That's it. So even now, I think he's pissed off the Chinese, right? So it's very interesting uh, how this plays out. Again, I'm not an ex expert, but I do know that. Uh, M-U-L-N. What's up? Mullen Automotive uh, up 100. Whoa. So you had to know something. I would take your profits and I would run. Take all the profits you could possibly get. I would not go longer. I would not. You still, if, if even if I was going to play this stock, you're at 171 now. I wouldn't touch it until 380. $3.80. This thing has gone to, uh, I mean, it, it was almost at zero. It based out at 65 cents, right? You're at 172. Congratulations. 150%. Congre you are the big winner of the day, but I would take my profits and go home. You did pierce the, the, the tweet day, though, so that's good. But again, you, you couldn't even convince me to get this until 380. At that point, what, you're almost double. So you are double. So uh, what's up? Gold puts quant. People love the quant. Uh, all right, we'll, we'll go dock you, and then I'll jump back into crypto. Doc U, based out. So understand the downside risk about 101, 102. You're at 116. It was just there three days ago. Convince me. Let's talk when you're at 158. At 158, you will fill that gap fairly quickly to 181. But again, 158 to 116, you got a long way to go. You did get rejected from the 20 day. So you are, that is causing you, that is your now your resistance. And understand your 50 day is sitting at 130, 130. So understand that. All right, we got Shiba, and then we got uh, a little quant action, a little Shiba. I, mean, I, I, hate, I hate to do Shiba because it's got, got the uh, zeros. Has Shiba been performing? Uh, I, I do own some. I could, you know, at this point, it's, uh, all right, you, you want Shiba to be above four zeros, three six, right? That's the, again, rule of thumb, uh, last April, April highs, April, May highs, that's what you want. If your crypto is above that, then you want to play it, right? So it's at 35, you want to sit above that. And that's, that's about where you want to get long. Right now, understand where you base that at is 20, is 21. You are at today, you are at 25. I would like to see you get above, at least get above that 31. 30, 31, you're at 25, you don't have a lot. Now, you would nibble there, and then if you want to get longer, Another level is going to be th that 34, 35 levels next. And then where you get real long is at that 40. So there, there you go. That is Shiba. We're going to do Quan as well, Q and T. I know, I, I know the TikTokers love the Quan. Low Quan had, had a heck of a day today. It went from what? 103 to 113. Nice. Pretty good day. Let me look at the, the yearly chart. Here you go. You want to be above 90. You are above 90. Congratulations. What are we at today? We won 12. Uh, looking at, ooh, very simple. Where you get long at? 156. 156. At that, and then you get longer at, pretty simple here too, 210. But 156 on, on the quant. It, but it keeps doing this, right? There's a, little, a lot of my node plays. The NA, uh, no, NAAS is what's called. But these node plays like Strong, Thor, um, 
Kubo, I mean, like the price just keeps going down. They've got price exposure. So to get your return out of these nodes to ROI, I need the price going up. Is if the price keeps going down, my my the time that I ROI out is going to be, it's not going to compress. It's getting longer, right? I need the price to go up. So um, I'll, I'll probably put out a, a, a Twitter spiel about that because a lot of these guys in the, in, in, in the node life, they don't understand how, how the price, um, the, the, te the technical analysis on the price before they enter a project there. That's how I say it. Al Algo is, I'll say it one more time. Algo is your resistance is now, or sorry, your, your support is now 76. Your support is now 76. Plug. Let's go plug. Uh, plug was one we did last week too. So uh, getting oh, you're gonna love this. So you are at 2507, and I literally and right where it sits. I'm not kidding you. I have it's at 2501. I've got a line at 25 again. You're right here. You just pierced it. You want to see two the the follow through. You want to see two green candles daily candles above that for the follow through and then i think that you can you could probably start to really nibble there and get longer at about 30 let's it's 2976 i'd call it 30 that gets you above the 200 day plug is a good play right now let me see some follow through get, get to that 25 25 15 level but the two green daily candles above above 25 would would really cement it so there you go. That that that's plug the Googs. Let's go. Let's go Goog. Let's see what what we got. If I could type in Google correctly. Uh, here we go. So you jump out at 2500 You're at twenty six seventy seven. So you know that's your downside of risk is twenty five hundred. You've got a lot to play with here. Uh, it's at a key level. It really is at a like the market. Then we're here, it goes back to J July and big time at uh, October and in uh, the first part of January. So you're at a key level here. If I'm going to put you like, so that that key level is like 26.75. And you're at 20, you're at 26, how funny, you're at 26.75 right now. 20, yeah, you, you can say 2670, but it's, I'm saying 26.75 just, just to make sure. Get above that. I, now again, above that, you're, you've got the twenty, the two hundred day, and the fifty all compressing right at the same. So if you want to get clear of that and make sure you're good, I'd say the twenty seven seventy five. Twenty seven seventy five is where I would look. So there you go. Appreciate XRP. Yes. Yeah, so I just did a a uh, YouTube video on the XRP lawsuit. Essentially, what the SEC wants to do, they want to go back. And, and uh, revisit some of these uh, judges' decisions, and they literally want to run it back. Like you don't get a do-over, bro. So I, so look, it, I'm I'm very bullish that XRP or sorry that Ripple is going to really, really take out the SEC, and that's gonna um, gonna cause some ripples, uh, not only in crypto but at the SEC, right? Because they just completely screwed it up, right? They they had seven years, whatever it was. Five, at least five years, right? So um, that day will be a glorious day in crypto. That will be a huge, huge day. I'm not saying things will hit all-time highs, but things will be up big, 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 big. That that day, FAZ is up. We've got the uh, the bear. So FAZ I've got is the three X. So th this is bearish, right? So it's 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 not done. Uh, so if you were it's hard to do TA on 3X bear, but I've got a line here at 20 at $22. Above 22, I think you I think you can go long. And at that at that point, the markets are, are really, really down. You were just there literally, what was that, third like Thursday? So, and that's the highest it's been. That's got market memory. So it's been there before uh late January. It's been there in mid-December, first of December, and it's been there also in uh first of October. So that's how much market memory it's had. Boom, 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 and boom. Right there. Above 28, you you can get long on an FAZ. Right. Again, that is a that's a 3X, but if you're getting long in that, it means the that's like a Bill Ackman trade, right? Like he's he shortened the entire Western world 
um, from from what I can tell. So, what's up, buddy? Coco, good to see you, brother. Uh, it was uh, H I H I H I Y A. Did I? What is that one? Let me see. H H I Y A. What's up? I don't see it, man. I I've heard of it though, but I haven't. I, I don't see it. Appreciate that. Appreciate the uh, great content. Marvel, little D Wack. Then we'll get to Marvel. D Wack. How is uh, Mr. Trump doing today? <laughs> All right. So so it's this is a wedge pattern. It's coming into it. Probably gets there. Comes into that wedge. It's um, and probably probably Friday or next week. But again, when you come into a wedge pattern. The way it's going to break is what is the underlying trend? Is it really up or is it down? Typically, it's like it, it's kind of like this, but you'll get this or you'll get this some, right? This one is going to break up because the underlying trend is up. So here's here's where I jump out. Uh, I think your downside of risk right now is at 67. You're at 88, 89. I like anything above 91. It's at 89.76. I like it above 91. But understand, it's coming into a big uh, wedge pattern, and it's, it's coming to, to that point to where it's got to make a decision. Are we breaking up? Or are we breaking down? So rule of thumb is the, you know, barring a catalyst event, it will it will move with with the underlying trend. So it will probably break up. Marble it is. M R R V L. That goes for every stock. That goes for any wedge shape pattern. The underlying stock trend will is is the way that it will probably move. All right. So understand, it's sixty one. You got to jump out of MRVL. It's Marvel Technology. Uh, I don't hate this stock actually. I just want to I, I want to get you out of the. Come back. To, you're at sixty seven thirty eight seventy five thirty ish. Seventy five. 40-ish, right in that range, right? At that point, I think you can get long. You do have to defeat the 50-day at 77, though. But above that, look out. This that that thing could run at that at that point. Could really, really run. You've got a lot of a lot of overhead supply that you're trying to chew through right now. It's been sideways for about three, three, four days. So uh, so watch yourself. You basically bounced off or you were rejected off the 20-day today, right at that 70-50 mark right so again i think that the safer play is above 75 get along there um but but uh, but under, understand what your downside is it's very very key uh do you trade futures i do not it takes a very very strong man to trade futures um a lot of the the the, the, the best trader that i did that i know did, does and that's all he trades right um but but he's I mean he's 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 putting on five hundred thousand dollar trades a day. Um, he can walk you through it. I've got him on. Uh, I think I've got him on. I tell you what his name was. I think I've got him on Telegram. D, DM me and I'll, I'll I'll tell you who he is. He's really really good and he does it for free. He literally tells you what the trades are and it's free and he doesn't he doesn't doesn't do any TikTok YouTube nothing. All he's got is this like channel. And he's like, this this one I'm putting on. This one I'm doing. Now again, you can't do his his, his size, but he's really good. Uh, I R N I R N T. Yeah, I, but I, I got thoughts on everything. Um, not a stock that I, this is a, so mine. You're down 26. You should have taken profits on Friday. Clearly, um, when, when it jumped up so much, it's down 26 today. What's your downside risk here? Uh, you're at three at three bucks is your downside of risk. You're at four fifty three. I'm not playing this. If you do play it, I I can't even eight forty ish is where I'd probably get get long. It's, that's that's a two x from here. Um, now now I do like the sector. I believe that's internet security sector. I do like the sector, uh, but but the but it's just it just it's gone sideways for so long for like the last what. Two and a half months, so it's not it's not one like look guys stocks that are doing this that's a headache you're stressing yourself out getting the stocks that are doing this it's simple just just move right like like you know how people go from value to growth and back to value that's what we're doing here we're just getting into good stocks right right now but that is energy for sure right so and 
all-time highs, guys, beget all-time highs. So if your stock is within 5% of its all-time high, it's got a 70% chance it's going to go to an all-time high again. 70% chance. I'll take those bets at the casino all day. Uh, upward swing, BTC, it will pull back at 45. 44, uh, 44.5 is where I would say that. But yes, yes, 45, 44.5 is probably the next level. And then at that, it goes to 50, 50, 50 to 51, then 53. 53 is a real key long. Let's get long. Let's, let's, let's go bangers. Is at 53, baby? All right, uh, BTRS under form earnings is AM. Where do you see the heading BTRS? I'll tell you where I see it. TRS. Whoa, whoa. Wow, it 23 down. So if I'm going to play this the way that I would play it, again, not financial advice, it's 11.13. You definitely based out, out today at 10.90. So if it, if it goes down below, let's just call it 10.90. You just got to jump out. I, I don't know where you're in this ad, what the situation is. I would tell you, if it starts to come back up, you cannot touch this stock until it's 12.10-ish. 12.10. If that, it's got market memory going back to the 1st of December. And then, I bet, this, bet it's something else when I go back. Yeah. And then it goes back to May and April time frames, right? That is, hang on. Let me, let me make sure. No, I, t- I take that back. What is, good lord, that's a long way back. 12 bucks? Where's 12 bucks at? Woo! Yeah, just, yeah, I, I wouldn't touch this stock until I, I'm at at least 12 bucks. It's really more or less 12, 12, 10, but 12 ish, right? That's right. Just, man, I was, it's bad. That's a very, very bad daily candle, and it went lower, and now it's trying to pull itself back. So that is, Something positive as far as uh, it's got a huge float, so so it's, it's not going to get get pushed. It is seventy five percent institutionally owned. That's some good news, but again, I'm not touching this stock till twelve ten. There you go. That's all I got, brother. Uh, SB SBRC SBRC SBRC. It is SBRC. I got a Y in there. SBR, ah, oh, jeez, man. All right, all right, all right. Let me look. You guys playing these ex- exotic plays. SBRCY, Bank of Russia. And it's down. So you, you, I I wouldn't even touch this until it's it's $1.36. Wouldn't touch it until it's funny. 10 12. I mean, you you might touch it at 8 30, but I'd be more comfortable with the 10. Yeah. With the ten thirty, you're a dollar and thirty six, man. I would gonna be stretching yourself out for the next. Uh, hopefully, this is just a week or two, but it's gonna be st- st- stressful. Uh, Tentacles say hard sell. Sorry, right, brother. What about uh, RTX? What about RTX? What are we doing with RTX today? RTX it is. Guys, give me a follow if you would. Congratulations, all time uh, all time high today at one hundred two. Congratulations, up 4%. Again, again, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It, it was doing this, right? It hits an all-time high, kind of backs off. All, within 5%, like it's it's at 102. So it hit an all-time high of 96, back down to what? 92, right? And then back up, boom, in three days. 94, 96, 98, 102. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Don't stress yourself out. That's exactly what I'm talking about. RTX Aerospace, which is a big one. Let me go through that very quickly, just, just so everybody knows what, it, what you might want to get long in, right? So right now, here is uh, the energy sector. Here we go. DVN, OXY, uh, FANG, MRO, CDX. All right, now the now this is the aerospace sector. There's some good ones here. LMT, that's Lockheed Martin. LMT, NOC, LHX, and TD, uh, well, RTX as well, but also I look at um, TDG, TDG, LHX, NOC, LMT, RTX. All, almost all time highs. So, awesome. That is very, 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 very cool. Congratulations. 
Uh, I don't know if I'd look at XOM, that's Exxon. Would not look at that one, but uh, C CBX, which is Chevron, very, very good right now, guys. Very good. Uh, midstream, you might look at WMB. WMB. Uh, everything else, I'm not so sure. I thought Burt Berkshire would come out. Uh, Burt B, not a bow in there too, but that's an expensive stock. It's, it's at 318. So there you go. Awesome. Uh, thank you for the, uh, I believe that that was a rose or a diamond, J-M-I-A. We did that one. We did that about two weeks ago. We got here. Ooh, and I'll see why. Internet retail in Germany, it, it's trying to make a comeback. Understand your downside risk at $7. You're at nine twenty six. Where would I get long here? So I think you can get long. You're not too far away. Like ten thirty. 1030-ish, right? That will put you above the 20-day, the the trend line, it'll put you above the 50-day. And then you won't hit the, the 200-day until 18, right? But you can make some money between that 1030 and the 18-ish, right? Uh, you're going to run into a lot of resistance at the key level that you got to break is right here. 1750, right? But again, I think you can start to really nibble hard at that 10.30, let's call it 10.50-ish, right? So there you go. That's J-M-I-A. Not, not the worst play. It's doing this. It's stressful, right? But I, but you can. it's clearly defined levels as you, as you, as you go up. If, if you want to get long to where you just go bangers, that's at 24. So there you go. Um, and that, that memory goes back all the way to June or uh, May. Sorry. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, Indy, a uh, blink. Let's so blink and then NDO. Blink it is. Blink charging. All right. So clearly defined levels here. You're at 2463. You're up 3% today. Congratulations. I cannot tell you to get long until you. Now, it tried to get there uh, literally two weeks ago, first of last week. Uh, 2650 is the level that I think you can nibble at. And then if I'm getting real long, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, and you're not going to like this one though. So there's a little bit at 34, but I'd really wait to probably 36, 37-ish, right? So, but understand what your downside here is, is right at that 18 level. So understand 18, it's a dead, dead duck. Like jump out. All right, uh, NDO, INDO, INDO, uh, Indonesia, Indonesia Energy Corporation, woo! Bam, that's what I'm talking about. All time high today. It, it's a red candle because it went all the way up to 15. It's fallen all the way back to uh, 1320. I'd stay long. If I'm, if, if I'm going to follow my rule, again, this is me, not financial advice, but if it's me, I'm staying long, right? You need, you, it really needs to defeat. It went, it went right to it, too. There is a, there's, there's two upper trend lines that are basically coming in into what's called a uh, a upper V is what I've, it, it's called different things. But anyway, it came right to that 1431 and then bounced, bounced back down. So 13, 20 year, I, I stay long. Understand where I might jump out is at 10, 10. So that's probably your, your downside risk. So understand that. And then if you don't jump out there, you could fall, you could easily fall back to 651 real quick. So watch yourself on that one because it, it's jumped up so fast, it can fall just as fast. So there you go. Appreciate it. Does MSNBC on the background? So that is not MSNBC. In, 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 I, don't, I don't watch those. I don't watch CNN. I don't watch MSNBC. I don't watch Fox. There is one source that I actually watch that has straight down the middle coverage that I found, and that's Bloomberg, period, right? CNBC, I like it. Bunch of clowns, though. Bunch of clowns. Unless Tom, Tom um, Thomas Lee is on there from Funstrat, I do I do like him. But as far as C CNBC goes, a bunch of clowns, you know, except for the guests, right? So uh, silver calls, I don't know, no. silver. I mean, it's not the worst. Uh, three days ago, it, calls not the worst deal. So I think it, like it's a 20, 2261. And it ran up on what was that two, uh, Thursday? Not the worst idea. I will tell you this though: you are above the twenty day, which which uh, was was the support today for you. Um, 
It's clear where you get real long, though, at 23.50 for sure. That's when I go long. But I think right here you might can nibble some. So a call, understand, it, it's probably going to bounce off that 23.50 level. So, so if you're going to do a call, right, understand that 23.50 level, you're going to get rejected at. So if you could, if you could possibly get it at that 23.20, 23.30, 23.40 level, it'll probably get there, right? But, again, not financial advice. But that's a key level. It's probably going to bounce off of that at least once or tw twice uh, be before it breaks through. In fact, it hasn't broken that level since August. And it bounced up against that in September. And it bounced up against that right up against it in uh, mid-November. So, uh, interesting. Very interesting. And you and you would jump out if it goes below the 200-day, which is going to be about, about that 2240. Let's just call it 2250, right? So uh, that is where it's, it's – so that's providing support, though. Uh, Blink, we did it. Sweet. Uh, moving here. Space it is. SP, uh, SPCE. The Virgin Galactic, again, stressful stock going down. Uh, understand where I jump out at. Your downside risk is about 7, 750-ish or 961. I, you've got to get above this, man. You've got – so there's a, there's a 50 day that just it's just it's fallen it's followed the 20 day all the way down like literally all the way down that was providing the resistance all the way down and you got to get above that eleven dollars eleven ish right so at that point let's you're at nine sixty four so so you're not too far from it you could bust it but understand you've got to defeat you're you're riding the 20 day still but you got to defeat the 50 day. At about 10.50. So, interesting. Interesting. GBTC. I don't know if I can get G GBTC on. I may have to go to trading view. Yeah, let's look at GBTC. I'm sure it's up today, though. So, uh, where is my... Where did it go? GBTC. Uh, let's do it. Grace got Bitcoin Trust. Uh, let me compress it. So, I understand your downside of risk is at 2023. You're at 2029. And where would I get long? You might, you might can nibble at 32. Let's call it 33. You might can nibble where, where you get real long is clear. 41, 41, 40 ish. There you go. That's GBTC. A little Bitcoin app. A little pay, PayPal H bar. PayPal is first. P Y P L. Um, again, doing this, guys. I get it. It's it, at some point it's going to recover, but. I'm not bullish on it just yet. Again, uh, downside risk is 95. Let's call it 96, uh, where I probably start to nibble at 140. It's at 111. So you got, you got some work to do. And it's, it's all overhead supply. It just keeps doing this. And then all of a sudden, the last three days, it's popped up. So it's got a little hook on it, right? But again, 140, 142, it will jump to 155 fairly quickly. But you got to get back. You got to get back there, though. And you're about so. You're at 111.27. Understand where that 20 day is going to come in at. About 120. And you will, that will be your resistance maybe for a couple days. So understand that's where the 20 day is. If you continue to go up, you will meet that probably in the next two in the next two days. So there you go. H bar is. Uh, H bar, not a big fan of the eight, or Well, I'm not, or I don't hold it. Not that I'm not a fan because you know what? Uh, it, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's up 6% today. It's having a heck of a day. Congratulations. What's with coin mark cap? All right. So understand where, where you base out at, at 16 cents is where, is where you, that is your downside risk. You're at 22. Where would I get long, long in this? Um, man, you're not going to like safely long is at 26, 26, 27, 26. And then real long, real clear at 33. So you're at 22, 26, you can nibble. And then 32, you, you can go real, real long. So there you go. Thank you very much. Appreciate you guys being here. Please give me a follow. Look, I do uh, I do a lot of these every day at 2 to 2.30. I do live video. Do, we do the TA. We give a little commentary on the crypto and on stocks of, of which I don't know a lot about except what I see on Bloomberg, right? Um, now, crypto, my passion, uh, which 
about 80% of my, yeah, ouch. <laughs> uh, thank you for the uh, teeth comment. Let's go Putin. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Let's, let's, let's go Putin. Um, all right. Uh, energy transfer, Dallas based company. Was it, uh, oh, energy, trans, wait, what's it? It's e, it's e, e, ET, yeah. Ah, uh, not the best looking chart, but it's in an uptrend since literally January. Congratulations! I have a line here. You're at ten sixteen right right now. You were there two weeks ago, and it just rode this line. It went sideways. It never it pierced it, but it didn't do our two green daily candles above it. That line is ten thirty ish. 10.30 is where you get long. You're at 10.17 right now. Congratulations. I think I think you probably go through this now. I really do. Mid streams are about to pick it back up too. So um, I say, I'd stay out of the MLPs though. Just just stay. MLPs are just can can go can do different things in the uh, market. So so watch out for that. So yeah, stay. I clearly stay long there. You know what I mean. But un understand you are going to hit that at the 10th. 30, it will be rejected, and you're going to have to really, it's going to have to see some follow through once you beat, beat that. Uh, SPSW and then uh, UCO. S, what did I say? S, SBSW. So, what, what is this? Sylvain still wearing limited South African basic materials. We had all, we're not at all time high, but stay long, man. All, all time high is at. 2043, you're at 1912, looking good. That's a very, that's a bit, one of the better looking charts that I've seen. Uh, we're, downside of risk, I think, is at 16. You're at 1911. I, I, so, again, not found your bias, but if this were me, I'd be put, I, I don't know anything about the stock. I'd, I'd have to look more into it, but I'd be putting calls on it right, right now. I, but I understand where the all time high is at that 2043. So, it, it gets there. I'm good. It, I'm ju jumping out, or or actually, actually, if it gets there, like it's probably gonna go through it. So UCO it is. SBSW is a good one. Congratulations, man. Very very good stock. So th this is the the uh, crude. So is this is this Brent? I forget what UCO is. Uh, it's the ETF. Is this is this the one that resets every, every night too? So clearly stay stay long. Um, Friday went to all-time high of 140. You're at 129 now. I think it gets back. I think it gets back there again. I don't see the Russian or the Ukraine situation uh, coming to an end this week. That's just me. That's just that, just kind of how I feel. They're going to meet again, and that's probably not until at least Wednesday or Thursday. So there you go. Um, and those could be solid. That could be. A, one, it could be solid tactics on both sides. It could be stalled tactics on the Ukraine side to get more defense systems in, and it could be stall side on uh, Russia to pour in more uh, tanks. So there you go. Uh, PayPal and uh, Affirm. I did PayPal, but I will do Affirm. Uh, Affirm Holdings. Let's see. what the, is, is that the buy now, pay later? I think this is the one that Amazon uses, if I recall. So downside risk is at $33.50. That's your downside risk here at 4188. Doing this. You'll be stressing yourself out, but I'm gonna help you out here. So I can't tell you to get long here, but it's real clear where you get long. The mem the, the market memory goes back to June, July, August, as it rode that all the way across, right? And but this might have been that might have been a SPAC. No, is it 69? It could have been a SPAC. So it rode that all the all the way across. I would like to see 69. Are you sure it wasn't a SPAC? Let me let me look back. No, it wasn't a SPAC. Okay. So it's 60. Yeah, this is clear. 6970. That's where you get I know it seems like a long way away. You might can nibble a little bit at the 52 level, but I'd really like to see that 69. Let's just call it, well, yeah, let's just call it 70-ish. Okay, just to make it real simple and, and in, in, in your mind, 70-ish. There you go. Uh, tap the screen, guys. <laughs> Lucid. Uh, we uh, have a hell of a day. So I hope this... So understand, Lucid, 2876. It is about to hit the 200-day. It will be rejected there at 2950 unless 
earnings are phenomenal. It, it, it'll bust through it. Hopefully it, it does. Um, so that that 20 day has been resistance for all of February. So you've got to beat 29.50. You beat 29.50, look out, you will run probably all the way to 36. Well, there, there's a 50 day. So you'll run to 33, 34, and then 36 is where the TA comes in. And it's clear where that is. So there you go. Appreciate it. Uh, thoughts on WTI? Uh, well, on the crude, long, baby. So uh, the WTI, offshore, oh, yeah. Just, just, just stay long where you might jump out out at four fifty one, four fifty. No, no, I probably stay because it, it, it like consolidated there like all, all of uh, since 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 the mid mid January. Might jump out at four thirty nine. You're at four eighty four, and your all time high is at five fourteen. Bangers, baby, bangers. There you go. Uh, thoughts on KS? I don't know anything about their uh, what they've done. I will look at what they've as, as, as far as I don't know what they've done per their uh, you know their what their revenue is. You know nothing about the company. It's Kohl's retail was playing really well up until about literally like first of February. Now we're in kind of no man's land. I tell you this though, there, there is some market memory at fifty six. I'd like you better if you're above 60, though. 60 is the level I'd like you to get above. You're at 55, 60, 62. Understand where your downside risk is. I think your downside risk is probably 51, 52, right? Um, a lot of market memory at that 56, though. Like, back in June. Uh, so, it, it was resistance back in June, August, almost in September. And then it... it, it Actually, that's support in November, and here we are again, right? So it's clear. We're, all right, so 50, yeah, 57, 58-ish is where I'd probably get long, longer at, uh, but you're still going to hit that 20-day, which is going to be well up here at uh, 58.34. So watch out for it. That's WTI. Sorry, that's KSS. Sorry. My bad, my bad. All right, MVIS, guys, please give me a uh, follow. I do this uh, every day from 2 to 2.30 Central Time. Uh, and uh, I actually like doing it not just for you guys, but for me as well. 265 is the is your downside risk. You're at 401. You are literally up against the 50-day right now. The 50-day, you are it is providing the resistance right now. It's not If it can defeat that, it's not bad. Like, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the stock. Let me just be clear. I'm not finding advice here. But if it, if it can defeat that, let's call it, if it gets a 430-ish, I think you could probably start to nibble here. Um, and then it's clear, and then, it, then it's 6. But where, where it's clear where you get long is at 1250. But, again, we're a long way from that. Talk talk to me when you're close to 6. And so I, I think you'll be good. I, I, you're, you're probably good then. Uh, but you can defeat this 50-day, which has – You've ridden this 20-day and this down uh, trend trend line all the way down. Uh, it broke out in uh, 1st of February, but it just kind of broke out sideways, though. So, anyway, uh, engine stay long. I am long engine as well. So, with that being said, guys, i got to run. I've got an eye doctor appointment today. I appreciate you guys being here. Please give me a follow. Um, I don't do sponsorships or anything yet. I, like that yet and um maybe one one day i will um i do do insider so so i i do look at the insider stock trades and, and i do make calls based upon those uh last week we were up 24 percent we're we're about a 74 percent win rate but here's the deal i'm not going to get you you know you know 5 10 15 20 it's not like that insider calls are real are, are 90% of them are very, very bad stocks, right? They're stressful stocks doing this. But when an insider, you know, is is, is buying a stock like this for $250,000 the day before, they know something, right? So typically these calls, one, two, three, four, five percent max, right? But again, um, you can make money off of that. We do, right? Today, we had, uh, I, I called three, two were pushes, you probably, sorry, two were pushes, uh, you probably made... Uh, you could have made something, but you might have lost if it was a push. 
One of them made four four percent. That was the uh, that was the CRC CT, and you probably could have made uh, a little bit in QTNT as as well. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys. I really really do. Thank you very much for being here, and we'll see you tomorrow. Watch your six. Go hard in the paint, and we'll see you.